Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for his steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for his steadfast love endures forever. Hold to him who alone does great wonders, for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who by understanding made the heavens, for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who spread out the earth above the waters, for his steadfast love endures forever. Hold to him who made the great lights, for his steadfast love endures forever. The sun to rule over the day, for his steadfast love endures forever. The moon and stars to rule over the night, for his steadfast love endures forever. Psalm 136 verse 1 to 9. There are so many reasons to give thanks. There are so many things to be grateful for. There are so many reasons to praise God. Starting your day by giving thanks to God is one of the most important habits you can develop. It's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of life, forgetting the countless blessings that surround you every single day. But let me remind you that there are so many in your life that you should be thankful for. First and foremost, we should give thanks to God for His graciousness. He's been so good to us, more than we even deserve. Every breath you take, every sunrise you witness, every opportunity you have, it's all because of His grace. His faithfulness is something we can always count on. Even when we mess up, even when we fall short, God remains faithful. He's always there, picking us up, guiding us back, and never letting us go. His mercy is never-ending, renewed every single day. It doesn't matter how much we've failed, His mercy covers us like a blanket, offering us a fresh start every morning. But here's the thing. The devil doesn't want you to see this. He'll try to trick you into thinking that your life isn't worth giving thanks for. He'll magnify your problems, make you focus on what you don't have, and convince you that you're missing out. He wants you to believe that you have nothing to be thankful for, but that's a lie. The fact that you are alive today, that you have a roof over your head, that you have food to eat, and that you're in good health, these are reasons enough to give thanks. Think about this for a moment. There are people out there who don't have what you have. There are those who don't know where their next meal is coming from, who don't have a place to sleep tonight, who are battling serious health issues. Oh, but you, you have these things. You have blessings that others are praying for. Don't take them for granted. Don't let the enemy steal your gratitude. When you start your day by giving thanks, you shift your focus from what's wrong to what's right, from what you lack to what you have. You start to see life through a lens of gratitude, and that changes everything. One of the most powerful stories in the Bible about gratitude is the story of the ten lepers who were healed by Jesus. You can find this story in Luke 17, verses 11 to 19. Jesus healed ten men who had leprosy, a disease that isolated them from society and made their lives miserable. Imagine being healed from something that had ruined your life. Wouldn't you be overwhelmed with gratitude? But out of the ten, only one man came back to say, Thank Jesus. Just one. The other nine were so caught up in their own excitement that they forgot to show their appreciation. But that one man, the one who returned to give thanks, received an extra blessing from Jesus. He wasn't just healed, he was made whole. This story is a powerful reminder to us all. Don't be like the nine who forgot to give thanks. Be like the one who remembered. When you're grateful, you make room for God to bless you even more. Gratitude opens doors that unlocks new levels of favor in your life. God loves a thankful heart, and when you express your gratitude, you're inviting him to do even more in your life. So today I want you to make a decision in your heart to never be ungrateful. Don't let a day go by without giving thanks to God. In fact, make it the first thing you do every morning. Before you reach for your phone, before you start your to-do list, take a moment to thank God for his goodness, for his faithfulness, for his mercy. Thank him for the things you often take for granted, your health, your home your family, your job, even the small things like electricity and running water. These are all gifts from God, and they deserve your thanks. 
Remember, when you start your day with gratitude, you're setting the tone for the rest of the day. You're choosing to focus on the positive, to see God's hand in every part of your life. And when you do that, you'll find that your days are filled with more joy, more peace, and more blessings. Also be thankful, always, and in all circumstances. And watch how God will pour out His blessings on you, simply because you chose to start your day by giving thanks. Now join me. Let us pray. Lord, I come before you with a heart full of humility. And I want to start by saying I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the ways I have been ungrateful. I'm sorry for the times I've overlooked your blessings, for the moments I've taken your goodness for granted, and for the days I've allowed the enemy to convince me that I have nothing to be thankful for. Forgive me, Lord, for the times I've focused more on my problems than on your promises and for the moments I have allowed worry to overshadow the gratitude that should be in my heart. Father, I thank you for your graciousness, for your love that never fails, and for your faithfulness that remains constant, even when I falter. Thank you for waking me up this morning, for giving me the breath of life, and for the simple yet profound gift of being alive today. I'm grateful for the shelter over my head, for the food on my table, for the clothes on my back, and for the health that allows me to move, to think, and to experience the world around me. Thank you, Lord, for the people you've placed in my life, my family, my friends, and everyone who has been a source of support, love, and encouragement. I thank you for the moments of joy that fill my heart, and for the challenges that strengthen my faith and draw me closer to you. Even in the difficult times, Lord, I know that you are with me, guiding me, protecting me, and providing for me in ways I may not even realize. Father, I'm grateful for your mercy that is new every morning. Thank you for forgiving me, for cleansing me, and for giving me the chance to start fresh each day. Thank you for your presence that surrounds me, for the peace that comes from knowing you are in control, and for the hope that fills my heart because I trust in you. Lord, I thank you for the things I often overlook for the beauty of nature, for the warmth of the sun, for the air I breathe, and for the countless small blessings that fill my day. Thank you for the ability to hear the laughter of loved ones, to see the beauty of your creation, and to experience the wonders of life. Help me, Lord, to never take these things for granted, but to always recognize them as gifts from your hand. I'm thankful, Lord, for your word, which guides me, encourages me, and reminds me of your promises. Thank you for the story of the ten lepers that teaches me the importance of gratitude. Lord, I want to be like the one who came back to say thank you. I want to live a life that overflows with thankfulness, a life that honors you in everything I do. Father, I pray that you would help me to cultivate a heart of gratitude. Teach me to see the good in every situation to focus on what I have rather than what I lack, and to always find reasons to give thanks. When the enemy tries to steal my joy, remind me of your goodness. When I'm tempted to complain, fill my heart with praise. And when I face challenges, help me to trust that you are working all things for my good. Lord, I also pray for those who may be struggling to find reasons to be thankful, for those who are facing difficult circumstances, for those who feel overwhelmed by life's challenges, I ask that you would open their eyes to see your hand at work in their lives. Fill their hearts with peace, comfort them with your love, and remind them that you are always with them. Finally, Lord, I want to say thank you. Thank you for everything you have done, for everything you are doing, and for everything you will do in my life. I give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise, because you alone are worthy. May my life be a reflection of my gratitude, and may my heart always be filled with thankfulness to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, if you are blessed by this prayer, type, Thank you, Jesus, in the comments section. God bless you.